Let's move on to the second main topic today. And the second main topic today comes to us from Evelyn, who writes, Hello, everyone. So did you guys watch the tweet uh, posted by Josh Cooley, director of Toy Story 4, talking about Don Rickles and the role of Mr. Potato Head? All of his pieces may be replaceable, but his voice is not. Honored he signed on for Toy Story 4. Honored he's in Toy Story 4. Cry time. I'm so happy that in some way we will still have him one more time in that iconic role. All right. Thanks a lot for that. And yes, so for those of you who missed it, the director of Toy Story 4, Josh Cooley, he put out this tweet yesterday that confused some people because he put out a tweet saying... Basically, she's saying that, hey, Don Rickles is back. Don Rickles, he's not replaceable. Don Rickles is doing the voice of Mr. Potato Head. Now, the reason that confused some people is, number one, Don Rickles passed away over two years ago or about two years ago now. And the other was this, was shortly after Don Rickles passed away, and what a comedic genius this dude was, but shortly after he passed away, the Hollywood Reporter ran this. This is from April 8th of 2017. Rickles was set to voice Mr. Potato Head in the upcoming fourth installment of the Pixar series, which is set to be co-directed by Lasseter. Not anymore. Yeah, no more John Lasseter there, ladies and gentlemen. He's, he's gone now. Uh, so co-directed by John Lasseter and Josh Cooley. Now Josh Cooley is the only one directing it. For a 2019 release. Rickles, though, had not yet recorded new material. Get that. Rickles had not yet recorded new material for Toy Story 4, his rep confirmed to The Hollywood Reporter. Pixar has been doing rewrites on the film, and Rickles had not yet been called in to record his voice tracks for Mr. Potato's head role in the fourth film. Okay, so we have this situation where Don Rickles was signed up to come and do the voice of Mr. Potato Head. But sadly, he never had a chance to actually get into the studio and record his dialogue because they were still, you know, tightening up the script at the time. So how is he then appearing in this? Some people have been spreading a little bit of misinformation innocently, like not intentionally saying, oh, Don Rickles must have gotten in and recorded it before he passed away. He didn't. So how are they doing it? Well, what the director then went on to explain in another article was that Rickles had signed up for Toy Story 4. And Rickles family had reached out to Pixar and said, is there any way he can still be in Toy Story 4 if you use unused recordings of him from the other stuff? So the family actually asked if they could do that. So then what happens is Cooley goes on and he explains this. So we went through, geez, 25 years of everything we didn't use for Toy Story 1, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, the theme parks, the ice capades, the video games, everything that he's recorded for Mr. Potato Head. And we were able to do that. And so I'm very honored that they asked us to do that. And I'm very honored that he's in the film. Nobody can replace him. So there you go, guys. Don Rickles is doing the voice of Mr. Potato Head. That is his voice. It's not somebody else imitating Don Rickles. And what they simply did was they went through, and it is weird to think about that, 25 years of Mr. Potato Head material from Toy Story, from the three movies, the theme parks. He does a lot of the voice stuff at the theme parks, the ice capades, video games, whatever. They were able to piece together enough unused footage because, you know, I'm sure for every line that they used, there were probably three or four lines that they didn't use, and they were able to piece together him actually doing it. Now, some people may have a problem with that, and I understand that, and I understand why. For me personally, if the family was okay with it, then I think it's great. Because I know for me as an audience member, as I'm sitting there watching Toy Story 4, hearing Don Rickles actually doing the voice himself is going to be kind of special. Maybe not cry time. Maybe it's not going to be cry time, but it's going to be special to hear that. So I'm glad the family asked them to use it. I'm glad they took went through the effort because it probably would have been easier just to get another voice actor who can kind of mimic Don Rickles' voice to just come in and read the lines they wanted. Instead, they said, nope, let's go through the hassle. Let's go through all the hassle, comb through all the other material, find stuff, and have Don Rickles in this film. I think it's great that, I did, that they did that. What do you guys think? Do you think they just should have gone out and got another actor for it? Do you think they were going to be able to find good enough stuff from all the pre-recorded stuff? Jump down in the comments section and let me know what you think about this, guys.